Hi everyone, welcome to Masters of Taste. I'm Odalis, and today I have a special guest joining me to make an authentic Cuban meal, Maria Paulson. She is the owner of Citrus Tile and Marble. We'll also get a chance to meet Chef Hap at WTI's Culinary Arts Program, and he's going to be making a strawberry trifle, which is just delicious. You'll get a chance to meet Chef William Bunch from Oysters Restaurant right here in Crystal River. He's not just going to make one, two, but four specialty dishes for you today. At Citrus Tile and Marble, we not only have miles of tiles, but tiles with style. Citrus Tile and Marble on State Road 44 in Lakanto has the largest tile showroom in the county. Granite marble, mosaics, ceramics, stone, and unique items such as inlaid floor medallions, plus an entire section devoted to gorgeous wood flooring. Your home deserves tiles with style from Citrus Tile and Marble, State Road 44 Lakanto, 527-9800. This is more a personal endorsement than a TV commercial because ever since Tina and I shopped this spot, we've become steady Angus beef customers. Their meat can't be beat. The secret is the vacuum ceiling, never any freezer burn. People travel for miles to get great meat that stays great until you want it. And they have everything else too. Angus beef, high quality at a reasonable price. Angelo's Pizza and Restaurante in Inverness is a New York style pizza, pasta and heroes location that really delivers in store and to your home. They use the highest quality ingredients and make their meatballs and sausage on the premises. They offer daily lunch specials and the perfect selection of fine Italian dishes. Angelo's Pizza, where he who eats well, lives well. Crystal River Orchid Supplies Incorporated offers everything you need to grow beautiful orchids. Expert advice, clay pots, slatted baskets, potting medias, fertilizers, beautiful blooming orchids for sale year-round. We also offer other exotic plants such as bromeliads, cactus, ferns. Don't miss our large selection of handmade scented soaps. Looking for that certain piece of pottery to display your plants? We have all shapes and sizes. Open Tuesday through Friday, 9 to 5, Saturdays 10 to 2. Here's Maria. Hi, Odalis. How Thank are you? Thank you for inviting me. Thank Very you for well. coming. I really appreciate you helping me out in the kitchen today. Thank you. Now, one of the things we're going to be making is an authentic white rice, okay? And Maria is going to make, what are you going to make for us today? Ah, uh, black beans. Black beans. Fried plantains. And fried plantains. So while I'm here and I'm going to go ahead and wash out the rice, the way I make the rice is I go ahead and I use two cups of the white rice so while I'm doing this and I'm going to wash it really good um, I just I just like doing that because I want to make sure that the rice is nice and clean before I put the ingredients in and Maria can you go ahead and get the plantains going and sure. maybe talk to the viewers about you know the difference between the the sweet plantains and the green ones okay um, well my I have an ad thing okay um, but it's very typical Cuban. <laughs> We're going to be uh, doing um, the fried plantains. Um, this is, has to be, um, you know, when you buy them, the uglies as they look, the better that they taste. And uh, they're nice and sweet. Down. Yes, it's so exactly. delicious. And uh, uh, the way that we do it, we slice them um, thinner in the way that they get uh, fried very well. And... You can have the green ones, but it tastes totally different than, than the, the green ones. The green ones are actually salty. You would want to take the, the, when you buy from the store and they're nice and green, you want to fry them actually a different way. And we'll go over that in another program. And then you want to salt them real good. With these, you really don't want to salt these because these are nice and sweet. They're so good. Yes. Now, I've gone ahead and washed up the, the rice. Now what you want to do is you want to add four cups of water. Now if you don't have a rice cooker, you should get one. It, it really is a time saver and it's just so much better. And then what you want to do is you want to take some olive oil and you want to put 
The recipe actually calls for one tablespoon of olive oil, but I actually like to put two in mine. Okay. And then you want to add one teaspoon of salt. Okay. And now once you have all the ingredients in there, you want to go ahead and stir it. The rice cooker makes it so simple because that's it. You add the ingredients, press cook, and then it'll be done in about 25 to 30 minutes. It will uh, let you know that it's nice and ready. Now we're going to make the beans, and there's a little more process for those beans. So we'll yep. see you in, right over here. Okay. Well, now we are going to do um, the black beans. I like to do the black beans from scratch. I already went ahead and cooked the beans because it's not it's going to take uh, the whole show. Um, you usually wash the beans um, after you put it in a pressure cooker for 30 minutes. That will be ready, uh, soft enough to be cooked. Now we are going to caramelize in the vegetable. First of all, I put the onions by itself with the garlic and I let it cook for around um, two minutes in the way that get really well cooked. After that, I add the bell peppers. Uh, these are the very important ingredients for the black beans. Um, I'm gonna, you know, caramelize them for a few seconds too, together. And after that, I'm going to add laurel. I just put two pieces inside. Uh, now we add the oregano. I use plenty of oregano. It's, um, it gives you a really good flavor on the food. And I use the cumin only a little bit. If you put too much cumin, the flavor tastes completely. Just like, a, like this, and that will be enough of the cumin. Okay. And I put everything together. I caramelize it very well in the way that everything gets cooked before I put it inside the beans. The beans are already soft when I'm going to add this to them. Now we are adding the vegetable, onion, bell pepper, garlic, oregano, cumin, everything that I put together, we are added to the beans. And we are going to use salt. I use the same way. I never measure. I just put, uh, it's uh, the old fashioned, the Cuban style, and my grandmother used to do. Yes, uh, you look at it and you see that that is right. And we are going to put the beans in a medium to low heat to get all the flavors and we are going to be ready to eat in a, uh, around 20 minutes. Thanks, Maria. That was great. I, I loved, I really enjoyed watching you. And now we're going to fry up these sweet plantains, uh, have the oil nice and hot, put these in, and you just fry them. When you see that they're starting to turn uh, a little brown on the one side, then you want to turn them over, and that simple, that easy. Looking for quality antiques and collectibles. Professional appraisers and liquidators offers top dollar for your antiques and collectibles. Find out what your items are really worth and put cash in your pocket. We buy or accept on consignment single items or entire estates. If you have antiques and collectibles collecting dust, why not turn them into cash? Call and ask professional appraisers and liquidators to come to your home. And don't miss out on the excitement of our next antiques and collectibles auction. We hope to see you there. Hi, my name is Tony Mudis with Remax Realty One. You can also have your house or your commercial business on television. Call me for details, 212-3019. And stay tuned to view my listings.
At Citrus Tile and Marble, we not only have miles of tiles, but tiles with style. Citrus Tile and Marble on State Road 44 in Lakanto has the largest tile showroom in the county. Granite, marble, mosaics, ceramics, stone, and unique items such as inlaid floor medallions, plus an entire section devoted to gorgeous wood flooring. Your home deserves tiles with style from Citrus Tile and Marble. State Road 44, Lakanto, 527-9800. Education Outfitters in Lakanto provides everything teachers, parents, homeschoolers, and Sunday school teachers need. All kinds of educational books, they have specialty toys, strategy games, and science equipment. FCAT and GED preparation books too. And educational workbooks for preschool and high school as well. Education Outfitters in Lakanto, providing the tools you use to learn. Welcome again to WTI, and I'm Chef Huff, and uh, what we thought we might do today is do a little trifle, kind of a knockoff on a good old European uh, British trifle, but we're going to try to do it a little simply and uh, very quickly, and uh, when we think of desserts, we always think of, you know, it's decadent, and it's fattening, and it's got lots of calories. So I hate to ruin a good thing by saying, you know what, we're going to make this one pretty low fat. So uh, what we've done is there's two choices. You can, you can buy these little shells, you know, and they're familiar with strawberries and, you know, for strawberry shortcakes and things. But the calories in this for two of them, which is a serving, is 170 calories. If we go to a nice uh, angel food cake, we're looking at about 100 calories per serving. So, but we just want to cut them so that we can add them into the mix and uh, you can cut them any size you want. In this case I'm going to be putting them in a, in a, um, a small fluted uh, dish so I want them a little smaller. But basically that's all we have to do is just to cut up a few of them, save the real pretty ones for later and use those for garnish or whatever you might want to do. So we can just slice them right up as size that you like. And the other thing now what we'll do is, if you want it a little sweeter, of course you could add sugar, or my recommendation would be I would go to um, Equal or one of the uh, uh, substitutes and just put just a tiny bit in because you've got a nice sweet flavor in here. If your strawberries are sweet and the cake is sweet, you don't have to add much more. Okay, so then we can just take the cake out of here and go ahead and, and, uh, and use it. And since I've already cheated and used part of one already, I'll use this one. And you can just break it up if you want with your fingers. You can cut it, doesn't matter. We're just gonna break it up. Now the other thing that I like to do before I go any farther with any of the other ingredients is I like to use, I like to use a little bit of, of um, a liqueur. You could use Grand Marnier, this is uh, Kirsch and uh, it's very good. This is a cherry brandy. Uh, your Grand Marnier is a more of an orange brandy, so whatever you like to do, whatever flavors you like, uh, triple sec is excellent and it's inexpensive. So I just put a little in for flavoring. That's a little bit. <laughs> okay, now what we want to do is just kind of toss that a little bit with the strawberries just to kind of mix it. it smells good. Liquor is always good. It always makes it nice and taste, smells good and everything else. But if you don't like liquor, if you don't want to put any kind of a cordial in there, you don't need to do it. Um, the flavor of the strawberries will certainly be the, the predominant flavor in any way. So, you know, in some cases you don't even know it's in there. Now, the next step, I would just take and put some whipped topping in it, like we talked before. And just kind of mix that in. Now you can let this set just a little bit and it'll kind of let the flavors and everything blend together and, and, uh, and give it a nice aroma. So and, and this is 
completely on how you like it. If you want just a little bit of whip topping in it, just as a, to kind of hold it together. If you really like whip topping, you can do that. Um, lots of strawberries, of course, that's the key ingredient and that's what everybody likes to go for. So, you know, add more strawberries to give it more color and more flavor. So, real easy thing to do there. Okay, so let's let that just sit a minute and we'll get a couple of uh, 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 glasses and uh, we'll decorate them up. All right, we've got a couple of goblets we thought we'd maybe use this time. You could use any type of dish you'd like, okay? You can use a short squatty one, you can use, uh, you know, fluted, you can use one with a stem. Anything that you have at home, you know, just to make it a little bit fancier, you know, doesn't cost anything to do that. And it just is a first impression visual thing. So, what we could do here now is to decorate it up. So, you know, we could take some of the filling and just stick it down inside and put it down a little bit like that. And then we could take a nice strawberry again. And then we can take these, we could stick these down here along the side. And we get a little bit of color, then we can take a little bit more of the filling. And put it down in here. Doing it a little quickly, you could use a pastry bag if you had one and fill it. And of course, the size of the glass will help determine how much of this you want to put in it and as far as the portion size. But remember, we've, we've done pretty good. We can be bad because we've been good. We were able to save some calories and things and some fats, but at least we've got a nice dessert. So, now, at this point in time, another little thing that you might like to do if we wanted to put a little whipped cream on is... In the kitchen and stuff, we use pastry bags. And this is a, and when we say a pastry bag, this is a pastry bag, and we filled it with whipped topping. If you're at home and you don't have one, or you don't want to clean it, which is the biggest problem, take just a Ziploc bag or a plastic bag, take and put some in it, and you can take and cut the end off. And you're not going to get a a nice fluted color, but you can get it so that it will come out and you can pipe it on the top so it looks nice just like that um, or again if you had a pastry tube if you like to play with them you can see that this will give it a little bit more design so options are yours and then the next step would be I would recommend would be to take and take a nice strawberry and at this point in time, just take and cut it. Don't cut it all the way through. Just come down. And it just takes a minute to do it. But then you can flare it right out. Set it on there like that. And we've got a nice little... Now what we could do too is we could take just a little strawberry juice if you wanted to and just drizzle on the top and it'll work its way down inside and we got a little color. So that's one way of doing it. We can finish it off and have a little color and you can put them in the refrigerator and hold them until you're ready for them and press them. You got it. At EJ's Furniture in Crystal River, a family-owned and operated business, beautiful furniture for less is the motto of the day. And whether you want any of those wonderful pieces you see here or one of those cherished teddy figurines that have become a favorite around the world and available for every occasion from birthdays to holidays, EJ's Furniture can get it home to you. Seniors can get 15% off regular and sale prices. So don't wait. Get that piece of furniture you've been waiting for at EJ's Furniture in Crystal River today. Ever wonder what we did to communicate before email and computers? 
you can see for yourself at the fascinating and educational Old Mill House Gallery and Printing Museum in Old Homosassa. Here, a collection of working printing machines can show you how the ability to print has developed over the years, from the beginning to today. An interesting way to learn about the history of printing, and you can enjoy a meal at the attached museum cafe. The Old Mill House Gallery and Printing Museum in Old Homosassa. A great reputation can do wonders for your floors. Joe's Carpet has been around since 1970, and they have everything you'll need to make your floors beautiful. Oriental rugs, wood floors, ceramic tile, vinyl, laminate, and most definitely carpet. Joe's Carpet has won the Best of the Best Award every year since 1996. At Joe's Carpet, we believe our reputation is our business. So come see us and make wonders out of your floor. Medieval Times Dinner and Tournament. Call 1-888-WE-JOUST or online at MedievalTimes.com. Hi, today we're at Oysters Restaurant, 606 Highway Northeast, 19 Crystal River. And we're going to do uh, three items today. First item we're going to do is coconut shrimp. And first thing you do is take and butterfly your shrimp. Then we dip it in flour, batter, then into coconut. And that is our coconut shrimp. We put it in a fryer in a pan with oil. Uh, either we can do it in a deep fryer. Today we're going to drop it in the fryer. Okay, that is our coconut shrimp. The next item we're going to do is grouper. next item we're going to do is blackened grouper, our house specialty. It's a secret ingredient spice. Sprinkle a little bit on it. Turn it over. Make sure you get it on there very good. This is our <coughs> blackening spice. Then we can put it on the grill. We let that cook for about 10 minutes and then we'll turn it over be our blackened grouper. How special. The next item we're going to do is the chicken breast and we call it the uh, stuffed chicken breast with pepper jack cheese and shrimp. Okay, we take a knife, butterfly, the chicken, well, you can get it down real nice and easy. We take a mallet and we pound it. Pound it flat if you can, and then if you want to get it real flat, you take a piece of saran wrap. Okay. Pepper jack cheese. couple of shrimps in it and we get it over try to keep it a little flat wait with and cook in the center then we uh, put a little seasoning on it put it in the pan let it saute then that is our stuffed chicken breast with pepper jack cheese Next item we're going to do is a chicken breast, and we're making a chicken parmesan. You take and pound the chicken breast out. Pound it real good. And then a little seasoning, flour. 
flour. We take batter, put in the batter very good. And into bread from. One of our very good cellos here, chicken parmesan. Okay. Then then we will put it in the fryer. Put it in the fryer and cook it. And then when we get through, we put uh, as we cook it, we have a gorgeous sauce we put on top. And then we take Parmesan cheese, mozzarella cheese, and Parmesan cheese on top after you've fried it, please. Okay? Thank you. Here's our finished product. I hope you enjoyed our show, and we'd like for you to come down and visit us. Also, on Wednesday night, we have a seafood buffet. Come down and visit us. On Sunday, we have a Sunday brunch. Come down and visit us. And also, we serve breakfast every day, and we have very good items, specialty items, and egg benedict steaks, and just please come down and try us, and visit us at Oysters. Main Street Gym is a user-friendly, family-oriented facility that offers a wide range of exercises. Right in the heart of downtown Crystal River with trainers available and no contracts or initiation fees. Main Street Gym is waiting for you right now, offering all of these facilities to help you keep in shape and improve your overall health and well-being through stimulating exercise. Call or come over today and see how great you can feel after a workout and sauna at Main Street Gym. Come visit Willie and Pam Bunch at Oysters Restaurant in Crystal River for seafood that is out of this world. Oysters serves it up right. Steaks, shrimps, salads, so delicious. This place has oyster stew that will make your mouth water just to think of it. The mullet is excellent. The food, service, everything is excellent here. From Floral City, just to eat this fried mullet and now all this seafood. We love it very much. That's Oysters on Highway 19, downtown Crystal River. Pottery in the Works is now open at the Village Mall on North Lacanto Highway. It's fun and easy to create a masterpiece. Just select a piece, decide on a design, pick your colors, and paint. Pottery in the Works will clean, glaze, and fire your creation. And you can pick it up in just five to seven days in a nicely presented gift bag or basket. Pottery in the Works supplies everything. Visit Pottery in the Works online at potteryintheworks.com or call 527-6967. That's 527-6967. Across from Haywire's Bar and Grill. At Citrus Tile and Marble, we not only have miles of tiles, but tiles with style. Citrus Tile and Marble on State Road 44 in Lakanto has the largest tile showroom in the county. Granite, marble, mosaics, ceramics, stone, and unique items such as inlaid floor medallions, plus an entire section devoted to gorgeous wood flooring. Your home deserves tiles with style from Citrus Tile and Marble. State Road 44, Lakanto, 527-9800. I sure hope you enjoyed the program. I cannot wait to eat this delicious Cuban meal. One thing that's very important that I want to leave you with, please submit your favorite pecan pie recipe to my website, site outsmartentertainment.com. And if yours is picked that for next month, you will win a $50 gift certificate from the Cypress Room. So from my kitchen to yours, good cooking and good health.